it's easy to create an NFT to sell your music and even sell tickets to your show. But why is Wax the best platform for musicians? Let's talk about Wax. Live the life you love. What's going on, y'all? Today we're going to talk about why I like Wax as the preferred platform for independent musicians, independent promoters, small business, right? And really anyone, right? Any brand would do really, really well selling their NFTs on Wax. So the first thing that I really love about Wax is it's environment friendly, right? It's a carbon neutral blockchain. Um, they're they're even working on a project, an NFT project where next year in 2022, they're going to have NFTs that help the environment. And that's that's awesome, right? Because blockchain and crypto does get a really bad rep. And I will probably do an episode on this in the future. But for starters, like do your research, right? Do, do your research when politicians or corporate media or are taking a shit on on blockchain and crypto because crypto is all about decentralized culture, web 3.0, blockchain, right? It's all about decentralized culture and it's giving more power to the individual, right? Which is why NFTs are great, right? Creating your own NFTs, it's great because it gives you the power, puts you in the driver's seat of your music and your tickets and you're in control of that forever, right? As long as you don't sign away that that control. Um, but just real quick on, on the environment issue, crypto miners are actually incentivized to use renewable and green energy because the better and if more efficient they are with their energy, the less it costs them to create a crypto and the more crypto they can create. But again, an, an episode on that later, but wax again, love wax because it is carbon neutral, right? It's the most environment friendly blockchain technology there is. There's lots of amazing brands that are supporting wax, such as saw Atari, Mattel, street fighter, uh, w William Shatner, Dead Mouse, Weezer, uh, Hot Wheels is now on, on the wax train. I just bought my first NFT, which is a Hot Wheels NFT, um, World Series of Poker, Blade Runner, right? So many amazing brands are joining wax. And one of the cool things about wax is for starters, if you've heard about the NFT space before, if you've bought an NFT before, you probably have used an ex uh, exchange or marketplace called OpenSea or other marketplaces, right? And nothing wrong with OpenSea. I, I love OpenSea. I love Ethereum, right? Which is the blockchain that, that OpenSea runs on. But Wax, what, what I love about it, there's, there's no fees uh, or very small fees. Um, it's easy to use. It's fast. Um, it's easy to create an, an NFT on on, on wax right so they have their own marketplace called atomic hub and on an atomic hub is where you can go easily create nfts right so right at the top there if you look at the video version of this or if you on the audio right so right, right at the top at the menu you'll basically have the atomic hub logo explore market trading and then nft creator right so you can very easily go in there and create an nft and the the amazing thing about that is you also set your own commissions right so it could be anywhere from zero to 15 percent commission meaning whenever your nft is resold you get a commission right i mean choose not to take a commission but i Take 15%, right? It's your art um, or your, your tickets to your shows. And the great thing is whenever someone resells it, right? So let's say you sell a song for a dollar and you have 10,000 available and you sell out of them. And now someone wants to give the song to someone else. So then I'm going to sell it to them for $5. And now you get a 15% commission of that five bucks. Let's say you sell tickets to a show and it's a front row seat. That front row seat is a hundred dollars. And now someone goes and sells it on StubHub for 500, right? Now you get a 15% commission on that seat, right? So whatever 15% of, of a 70, is that 75 bucks, right? 75 bucks commission, which is great, right? So now that kind of helps deal with the the aftermarket and tickets for dealing with the scalpers, right? So whenever a scalper sells a ticket, um, you you get a kickback from that. And there's other amazing solutions to scalpers, and we'll we'll talk about that on a future episode. But there's a really great company, a ticketing company that utilizes uh, blockchain technology to do some really really cool stuff. But anyways, we're going to talk about Wax. So what do you need to get started in creating an NFT on Wax? And you know it's kind of a short video, but it's it's or short audio version, but it's it's so easy. You just have to create a, a wallet on wax right so if you go on uh, wallet.wax.io that's where you can create your wax wallet and then you just have to load your wallet with some some wax tokens right or, or wax coins actually we'll, we'll go into the difference of coins and tokens in a second but where can you buy wax coins uh, you can buy them on crypto.com you can also buy them on bitrix uh, those are mark crypto exchanges like Coinbase. So most people probably have heard of Coinbase. Coinbase was the, the number one ranked exchange on, on 
Apple apps uh, recently. Um, so I have a link in the description of the video to crypto.com and Bittrex. If you use those links, you get a little bit of money. I get a little bit of money, right? Get, get your crypto portfolio started. If you do it on crypto.com, which I'm really loving these days, uh, they'll send you, I think, 20 or 25 bucks and then in, in crypto.com uh, coins. And you can use that exchanger for Wax and then boom, go create your Wax wallet, right? And Wax is pretty cheap right now. You can get a Wax uh, coin as of this recording. So we're, what is the date? Um, so it's time stamped as November 20th, 2021. Uh, Wax currently is about around 80 cents. Um, it was at 91 cents and it's bouncing around there but as more and more of these brands are joining wax the value of that coin is also increasing which which is amazing um other cool things you can stake wax on on your wax wallet right so you can stake it and earn a, a little bit of a commission or interest for for staking your wax look just look at it as like putting money into a bond right when you put money into a bond you leave your money there after a while it appreciates you get a little bit of interest and you can do the exact same thing on on wax which again many many reasons why i love wax it's cheap it's easy uh to create and um I think that's really it. I'm going to put a video or link in the description to a blog post that Wax recently posted on how to create an, an NFT on Wax. And I'll create a video in the future as well in a podcast episode. Well, the video probably better than the audio for that, but I'm going to create a tutorial on how to have a ticket or even your a song, how to upload that to to Wax, right? Or to Atomic Hub, their, their marketplace. And then real quick, I know this is new for the podcast and for the YouTube channel. A lot of people haven't heard me uh, really explain what blockchain is and, and crypto and just a really simple, easy explanation, right? So blockchain, look at it as a is a blueprint to a building or look at it as it's the internet, right? Um, it's basically a bunch of code um, in a built in a much, much more secure way. And it's uh, verified and secured by the, the users. So which is why it's decentralized, right? There's not one central system that, that verifies it. It is a lot of different people. All the users are, are uh, certifying and securing it and making sure your, your assets on there are safe. And then the confusing part is there's different blockchains, right? So there's we know, well, as we know it, as there's one internet, um, and then websites built on top of the internet, right? So you have blockchain, and there's things that can be built on top of that blockchain, or you can have a blueprint and a infrastructure at a foundation of a house, and then things can be built on top of that, right? Um, so that's kind of the difference between um, blockchain and things that you build on top of. So there's sort of when you look at cryptocurrencies, there's coins and there's tokens. Coins are blockchain. And then tokens are built on top of a blockchain, right? So NFTs are built on top of a blockchain. So if you go to Wax and you build an NFT on Atomic Hub, that NFT is built on top of the Wax blockchain, right? On top of the Wax code or on top of the, the Wax um, architectural blueprint, right? However you want to look at it. And... Uh, NFTs, what are NFTs? It stands for non-fungible tokens, right? Basically what it means is it's NF every NFT is different. So if you have a, a pound of gold, a pound of gold is the exact same as another pound of gold, right? So that's fungible. It's not, uh, not non-fungible. Uh, if you have a $1 bill, it's the exact same as another dollar bill. If you have one Bitcoin, it's the exact same as another Bitcoin and so on, right? So non-fungible or non-fungible tokens. So the reason they're calling them tokens because it's built on top of the blockchain, right? Anything on, built on top of a blockchain is referred to as a token. And then the coins are the blockchain. Um, so it's a non-fungible token, meaning every NFT is different. So if you release 10 songs, each of those 10 songs are different and unique. You might have multiple copies, but at the end of the day, they're all different from the, those other songs in your catalog and different from other songs that are out there, right? If you have tickets to a show, tickets to a tour, every ticket is unique and different. It could be a VIP ticket. It could be a specific seat, uh, which makes it even more uh, unique, right? So that's very, very basic uh, explanation on what blockchain and NFTs are. But yeah, but I want to challenge y'all to, to go to Wax and experiment with your with your first NFT. If you have some success with it, uh, please leave a, a, a comment. And, uh, and even if you don't have success, right, leave a comment on a video. And if you're listening to the, the audio version, hit me up on Instagram. Um, you can find the links to everything at makingitwithchrisg.com. Um what else? Subscribe to the channel. And if you're getting real audio, subscribe to the podcast. Leave a review. Leave a comment. Love to engage with y'all. Thank y'all for listening and spread love, positivity, and kindness in the world. Until next time, peace, my friends. Live the life you love.